Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to use a spin tool in Blender 3D. Um, so the spin tool is a really useful and actually a pretty simple tool and it just lets you create really precise pivots in your model that would take a lot longer to do if you were to do it manually. Um, a lot of times it will be used for pipes and things like that, but it, it can be used for a lot more. Let's uh, get into it real quick. We kind of just start with a let's start with a cylinder because we'll kind of use that pipe example. There are three main steps to using the spin tool in Blender. Uh, one is you need to choose where it's going to to pivot or spin. Two, you need to choose what axis it's going to pivot or spin on. And three is the execution, actually making it pivot or spin. So step number one. Uh, choosing where it's going to pivot. The way the tool de uh, determines that is by where the 3D cursor is. So we want the, the cylinder to make a sharp right angle right here, and that means it's gonna pivot in this corner here. So if we go over to the 3D cursor tool and click in this corner, we've defined where it's going to pivot. Okay, step two is choosing what axis it's gonna pivot on. So we have, let's, keep that 3D cursor there. If we go to edit mode and select the face that's gonna pivot and we collect the spin tool, which is kind of this pie shaped tool down here, you can see there's a, an axis that's being defined. And this is the axis on which it's going to, to pivot or spin. And you can choose the Y axis, the Z axis. For this example, the X axis is a axis we want to use. Now you see next to this toolbox right here, you have what's called steps, and that determines how many subdivisions you want in your curve. Um, I think by default it's set to 12, but we're going to keep it down at 4. Okay, and step 3 is actually getting it done. So I'm just going to pull it, and you see we have a perfect, almost 90 degree angle there. And you can see it's not quite a perfect 90 degree angle, and what we can do is we can go to this dialog box that kind of appears on the bottom left hand corner and we can fine tune some of the, the results we got. So you see we get <clears throat> the angle it's at is 91, we want it to be a sharp 90. You can also fine tune exactly where the pivot point is, where the 3D cursor is. We were pretty close, I'm going to kind of keep it there and again you can do it on the z-axis as well but yeah it's a, a super useful tool i i use it a lot and it's it's great for anything you need to create a, a sharp angle in or, or a curved model in your model with thanks guys for for watching if you liked it please like the video please subscribe to the channel and leave any questions you have in the comment section i try to respond as quickly as possible thanks bye